right, what is going on, big dogs? So today we are back after about a month hiatus here from doing any Dr. Disrespect drama. And I'll be honest, I was a little hesitant to even make a video on this. That's why I'm kind of late to the action on this one. Just because the Doc fan base has been absolutely relentless. They are acting and commenting at me like I'm out here trying to get the Doc put in jail or trying to get him completely like wiped off the face of the earth and off of everything on the internet when that couldn't be further from the truth i'm a i've said this in previous videos i am a big fan of dr disrespect i watched his streams for years and i, I kind of dipped off from watching him i guess when he kind of transitioned over into youtube i don't know why i just maybe just wasn't for me anymore but i watched him for years fantastic streamer i thought he was a fantastic guy and now all this stuff has been coming out so I, it's been a conflicting ordeal to say the least but i'm just trying to give commentary on the situation with the evidence and the stuff that we have. And so far, all we know is that former Twitch employee breaks the lawsuit agreement and announces why Dr. Disrespect was banned back in 2020 from Twitch. Everybody waits for Dr. Disrespect to give a response. He gives a response. He confirms that he chatted with a minor, but nobody knows the age. Nobody knows where the minor was from. All the different crap like that was she 17 was she 16 was she 15 was she 12 nobody has any idea nobody has done anything to release the messages even though that would be the easiest thing to do and would probably resolve absolutely everything in a matter of minutes and the doc took a month-long hiatus here or a little over a month-long hiatus here and he is now back and of course his first day back he decides to finally address the allegations and kind of give his side to the story so let's get started and uh, break this down pending and as part of that arbitration all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case <laughs> i respected those rules my lawsuit against twitch was eventually resolved as you all know but even then as part of the settlement all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement however if one side violated that confidentiality, then the other side could respond. And again, champs, again, I respected all the confidential obligations. <laughs> mm -mm. But apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. Cody Connors, ex-Twitch employee, wasn't even involved leaks twitch's reported reason okay so he brings up cody connors and cody connors obviously being the one who like he said leaked the reasoning behind his ban in 2020 now from doing research from my previous videos and stuff i'm not sure if i 100 percent believe cody connors i really am not he has basically used this before to try and get people to come and watch his band or something like that. He said that he would like leak why Dr. Disrespect got banned if people showed up to his concert or some dumb crap like that. He seems like a clout chaser. He seems like somebody who just wants attention. So I just don't believe everything that Cody Connors is saying. It, the doc did admit to talking with a minor. That is one thing that was brought up. That is disgusting no matter how you look at it. Even if she was 17, he was 35 at the time, 35, 36, somewhere in there. Th that's still really gross in my opinion. Now, do I think it's like the worst thing in the world if she was 17, about to be 18? No, I, I'm not going to sit there and like bash the guy, I guess. I'm not going to ask for him to go to jail. Now she's 12 or 13. Like, all right, then yeah, I, I'm thinking some jail time and some banning is going to be need, needed. But we have yet to find out the age. And all, again, all of this could be solved by just showing the whisper messages and everything would either go away for the doc or he would go away, I guess, is really the only way you can think about it. But let's let's continue. Cody, why why you why do this? What was the point? This was settled professionally. And you knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided you fucking rat to leak the reported reason Twitch banned me in 2020. Well, I mean for what? Cody, why? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? Did you not know the repercussions of accusing me, Cody Connors? You see, you 
don't know shit, and it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whisper's messages? <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's Whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. Oh my god, the, the doc sounds like such a Karen right there. He sounds like such just an old woman. Like, do you know what sexting is? Because I do. I know what that is. And I'm always right. Like, that's, that's just the vibe I get from that. Uh, but again, obviously, he brings up Cody Connors, and he is... I agree. I, I think Cody was doing this for clout. I think he was basically just trying to throw something out there in order to get clout. Sure, maybe he heard from the grapevine that it had something to do with, you know, messaging someone underage. But when he says that he was sexting him, that, that might be the part right there where I just don't believe him. And I'm going to have to take the doc at his word here where he didn't sex this girl. Maybe there was some inappropriate jokes thrown in there, and that might be the worst of it. Like, maybe he just said a gross joke to this girl, which is still weird. That's still a weird thing, but if it's just a joke, it's just a joke. I'm not going to jump down his throat if it's something like that. Now, again, all of this I would just be solved, Doc, if you would just release the goddamn messages, man. If you would just show the messages, all this would just go away. If you say that they are what you say they are, which is nothing, basically, it's a big nothing burger, then show them. Just leak them out. Tell Twitch to leak them out, whatever. Just drop them. Because if they're as big of a nothing that you say they are, then you would have nothing to worry about. You would just release them. Everyone would be able to go, oh, yep, it was just a couple inappropriate jokes, but nothing crazy. And life would move on. And I bet even your friends would be like, oh, okay, like, yeah, shouldn't have been talking to, you know, a fan of that age, but the messages really weren't anything terrible. But he hasn't done it, and he's not going to. So I, I just, that's where I hesitate to say he's completely innocent, is... Again, if he would just release them, this would go away, and you think that he would if they showed that there was nothing going on that was wrong, like if they were just jokes, like I said. The word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists, and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but you're wrong. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else. And in fact, we never met in person ever. Your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. I suspect all of you sort of planned and coordinated this attack. These big time publications these journalists, these various outlets are sort of just gossip, gossip channels now, don't you think, champs? All right, so that's probably all I'm going to really react to here because that is like the main part of it. I, I watched this already a couple times, and that right there is really the juiciest part. The rest of it is him just kind of repeating himself over and over again. Uh, he does address a few other things and just kind of clarifies on a few things like that the messages aren't going to be leaked. I believe he says, uh, why would I leak them? What are we in second grade or something like that? So the reason you would leak them, Doc, by the way, just so I can cover this part, is because Unlike in second grade, the message wasn't just, hey, do you like me? Or, ew, Jacob smells today. Like, it wasn't just a shitty little note you passed in class. Like, this could be life-changing ordeals here. Like, this could be as something as small as it was just, a again, an inappropriate joke or something to all the way up to, like, you have to spend life in prison or 10 years in prison. Like, it, it's it could be very damning, which is why everybody wants you re to release the fucking messages, Doc. Again, I'm hesitant to believe that Cody Connor so much because again like I said I did some research on him he is a notorious liar he seems to always just be clout chasing a uh, very insecure person from what I'm able to tell so when the doc says that he didn't sext her when they had no plans to meet up and all this stuff like I, I have to believe him and I do believe him and 
again, before we get to the end here, I, I don't want the doc to go away. I don't want him to like lose his life and his way of life. I don't want him to like suffer. Like if all this would go away, right? If again, the messages would get fucking leaked or posted and nothing, no wrongdoing is found like awesome. Then I hope nothing but the most success for him. I really do. But if they're bad, then he's got to be punished. Right. And even if they're like mediocrely bad, uh, like obviously a lot of people are defending him. Like, Oh, the average age of consent is 16 in the U S and normally those consent laws are meant for like 16 to 18 year olds, maybe up to 20 year olds. You could justify it. They're not meant for 16 and 40 fucking year olds. It's, it's not meant for that. It's gross. It's creepy. And you should be punished for that. Again, we don't know the age. We don't know exactly what was said. So this is all just, basically, this is all just a big nothing burger. I don't even know why I make a fucking video on this. This makes no difference to the overall outcome other than, I guess, updating you guys on Cody Connors being a pretty big liar and the doc finally at least addressing the allegations and at least saying something about them, which, again, he just denies, denies, denies without showing the messages. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, remember, please leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It absolutely means a ton. Uh, the full video will be linked down in the description below. I have not done that in previous videos, and I'm really trying to get on top of that for you guys so you guys can watch them yourselves and make your own opinions on them. So video will be linked down below. Thanks again for your time. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. And until the next video, guys, Godspeed. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body in Harvard above me.